Hey everyone, just a quick little Photoshop tip that I got today, and this is using masking and using the mask all objects option. If you haven't tried it, stick around, check it out. All right, so the first thing that we do is we bring up our image into Photoshop and we are going to try and get all these objects here. To start off, I'm going to go to my background layer, right click it and click on mask all objects. Okay, click that and we get all of these folders that are masked and each one of these folders is a different object within this picture, but you'll notice that these folders are actually empty. There's nothing in them right now. You will have to add your changes that you're going to want to have happen to those layers into each of those. So for example, if I click on this one and I'm holding down option, then clicking it, you can see wherever it's white, that's what's in that folder. If I want to make that floor a different color, I can use anything from my new fill or adjustment layer menu and I can make the color a little bit different. Click there and I can make it a little bit redder, turn down the saturation, but also make it darker. Next we have the sofa. I can make that a little bit darker. I'm going to use brightness and contrast on the, to do that. Make it a little bit darker there and perfect. So the sofa is a little bit darker. Great. Now you'll notice that I didn't get this part of the sofa because it's considered that as a separate object. This one here. So I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to go brightness contrast within there I'm going to lower the brightness, increase the contrast and that matches. Okay. Now let's this yellow cushion. I want to change the color of that. So I can either use color balance or I like to use hue saturation luminance because it's just easier to go about the hue slider here. I'm going to make it match the red. I'm going to make it a little bit darker as well. Let's pull that down so I can see the slider there and increase the saturation. There we go. So now we've got a red cushion there. And we got one vase there. Again, I'm going to just create a hue saturation. I'm going to make that a red vase and there's one. And how about I change that one to be a slightly orange vase. There we go. Now all we need to do is change this yellow pillow over here to make it all match. Let's change that to a red pillow. So everything is matching in the red tones there. Okay. So that's it. That's how we went from this image here to this image here just by using mask all objects. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, put them below and be sure to click on like, subscribe and click on that little bell to be notified every time we put up new content. And I am happy to announce that our online real estate photography course is now done and it is ready for you. Just go to www.robmoroto.com and use a coupon code that is in the show notes here to get yourself a nice little discount. All right, see you later.